So as you guys know, I went to Mad Monster Party last week and I really haven't talked about it too much on my channel. I know I did a little live walkthrough and whatnot. Uh, I will be doing like a closing uh, interview with the horror show. They'll post that eventually. They just have so many videos to post. So no big rush there. But um, so I will be talking about some overall thoughts. Uh, but something that, re that was really cool that happened, uh, one of the many things, was I got to hang out with a, a fellow killer flickster, Brad Thornton, and we just had the best time. Uh, I got along with a guy so well. He was so nice, and he was so excited. Just like when he got there, man, it looked like a kid in a candy store. He, he got like, he paid so much money for shit. Like he got the, you know, the RIP, the Kane Hodder experience. Like he paid for every fucking thing there was. And he ran in and he was throwing down money for, for, you know, um, Andy Barkley and, and, and Kyle and, and fucking Tom Savini and everybody. He was just running up. He was so excited because he was like one of the first people in the joint. And one of the things that he did that was unexpected, I think he, he, he did go there with the intention of getting a tattoo, but um, <clears throat> he went over and he decided to get a Terrifier tattoo. Now, if you guys uh, saw my review for that, you know that I loved Terrifier. It's one of my favorite slashers that I've seen in forever. Um, I reviewed it here and the director, Damien Leon, actually used my review as a clip in his like you know main uh collection of reviews that he put together for dread central for his what for his thing and they shared it on dread central it was like a big moment for me and when i got to the thing uh, i was walking around and damien leone actually recognized me from across and he was like hey like i know you jay you know sinister cinema whatever and i was just like like i, I don't know that was such a weird moment to be recognized by the director himself um, and then, uh, you know, the guy who plays Art the Clown was there as well. And, um, he, I got to see him sing, uh, Bohemian Rhapsody that night at karaoke, which I'll show you a clip of it on here, uh, in a minute. Uh, but Brad went to get a tattoo by this dude and he disappeared forever. And I was just like, I kept, I was walking around, I was doing all this stuff for the horror show and whatnot. And I just kept being like, did Brad leave? Did Brad, you know, like, I don't know what the hell happened to this guy. And so I finally like call him and I'm just like, where the fuck are you, dude? Like, I haven't seen you in hours. And he's like, I'm getting tattooed. And I'm like, you're still getting tattooed? It was like four hours later. Um, and that's a long ass time, dude. Cause I got like Freddie and Jason done in one sitting and it took three hours. I got this Michael done in under an hour. Like I was just blown. I was just like four fucking hours. So I ran over and I was talking to, I was talking to Brad and, and the guy, the guy, tattoo artist was just about to finish up. And tattoo artist was talking about how he would love for, you know, Art the Clown himself to come see it. And Brad was like, yeah, man, it's like, he talked to him earlier in the day and because they're both their last names are Thornton, um, he was like, yeah, now that you get that, if you get that tattoo, man, we're going to officially be family, which was really cool. And then, so I ran over to the bar where every, you know, all this, uh, all the celebrities, I guess, were hanging out. And I went straight up to, um, fuck, I can't remember his name right now. It's the top of my head. What is his damn name? Um, what is his name? I, I gotta say his name here. Um, David Thor uh, David Howard Thornton. There it is. Jesus, I couldn't think of his first name. David Thornton. Um, I, I ran up to him in the bar and he was just about to go to bed right as I went over to him. And I was like, dude, you have got to come see this. Remember that guy, Brad? He's got the big curly hair, really fucking like excitable dude. And he's like, yeah, yeah. And I was like, he's getting that tattoo. And he's like, what? Now? Like now? And I'm like, yeah, down the hall. It was like midnight. It was fucking late, dude. And Brad was just spent. Oh my God. When I came up to him, he's just like looking at me like, I can't fucking take any more, man. <laughs> and I was like, I got to do something for this guy. So I ran over and I got David and I, and I was like, you got to come see. This. So like I had him come over and uh, here's that footage. That's great. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I think there's a couple people you'd like to take off. <laughs> 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 <laughs
<laughs> you. <laughs> Just a little bit. Let me see this guy too. I want to see this thing. Oh man, look at that! <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're going to. We have one, but we're going to get one of the. Oh, yeah, once a year. That's a great job, man. Oh, Thank dear. You, so you make me look horrible. <laughs> <laughs> but in a good way. <laughs> wow, that looks really good. You, you did a I'm flattered. Job. I'm absolutely flattered. Look at that. Yeah. Oh. Uh, Dread wow. Central wants to me to show it to them tomorrow. Oh, they definitely. Definitely, definitely, and... definitely, definitely. We're going to get some love that. You got to show Damien, too. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. He'll be at the bar. I'll get to show He's him. actually probably out there. Okay, we'll catch him in a minute. Yeah. Let's, yeah okay, let's get a dope pic. Yeah, you want to send a picture? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you got to get the tattoo artist yeah. in there, too. Absolutely. Yeah. So then after I got him, I couldn't help but go and talked to Damien Leon, the director, as well, and I had him meet Brad and look at his own creation, which both him and David, as you saw in the video you just watched, David was just blown away. Like he was, It was such a surreal moment for him because this is so new to him. He didn't play Art the Clown in the All Hallows' Eve movie, so this is, this is a newer thing to them, and he said this was the first con he's went to as Art the Clown, like as you know, the celebrity there. So this was just mind blowing to him, which was so great. It was so genuine. He was such a like a really nice man, um, and as was Damien. <clears throat> and so I yeah I went up to Damien and I was like, dude, you gotta like. So I went and I grabbed Brad and I was like, Brad was fucking taking his time. I was like, Brad, hurry the fuck up, David. I was waiting to see your tattoo, and he showed him his tattoo and here's that footage as well. Nice. It's awesome. Slap it! He wanted to impress you and dress that girl, so he was drinking out for four hours, dude. Four hours. So happy though, you know? It's beautiful. Yeah. Wow. Most of them. That's cool. So yeah, I mean, as you can see, they're kind of just both in, you know, like, I don't know, like awe maybe. I couldn't imagine if I created a character um, and, and someone had the tattooed on their arm, like someone I didn't know, somebody wasn't a friend, somebody was just a fan of the film. Like, that's just wild to me. I mean, I'm sitting here with Michael Myers and Freddie and Jason and Chucky and Leatherface and whatnot tattooed on me. So like, like I get that desire. Um, and man, Terrifier, this is such a great film, guys. You got to check it out if you haven't. It's very graphic. It is not for the faint of heart. It's a little lower budget. Um, <clears throat> it really goes that extra mile. There's a, there's a scene in particular that a lot of people that I know who are actually big horror fans actually thought they went too far. I don't have a line personally, so nothing can go too far for me. But I can understand. Like, there's certain people that just... You know, they're not in it for the gore. They're not in it for the shock. They're in it for more of the scares, the the, uh, the horror, all that stuff. The gore for them, if it serves the story, like they're fine with it. But if it's just excessive and 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 just there to shock, like they don't like it. But I do. So there it is. Um, <clears throat> and as I promised, I got to end this video with David fucking uh, Thornton singing. Bohemian Rhapsody at the bar. I only caught the like end half of it. So I'm going to finish this up with that. Uh, I just wanted to share this little story with you because Terrifier fans, I'm out, out there. I'm sure that they would find this really interesting and cool. Uh, and Brad, man, I had such a blast with you, man. Thank you for everything that you did. Thank you for being such a fantastic horror fan. Thank you for being true blue to this fucking uh, genre and a uh, friend to me. So, um, Thanks, buddy.
Yeah. <laughs> 